Hi, my name is Regina Clemens. I am teaching the Stitch and Time Sewing class for ages 9 through 13 uh, here at Manassas Park Rec Center. Uh, we have two levels, level one, which is the basic hand stitching that they're learning. The girls will come out with a couple of projects. The first one they come out with is their own pin cushion. The next one they'll come out with, of course, will be their pillow. But they're learning different types of hand stitching right now, uh, such as the running stitch, the back stitch, and they're going to use that to actually make a pillow. Uh, really, hand stitching is sort of becoming a lost art due to the fact that we actually have machines now that do most of that. But of course, there's that torn garment, of course, there's that button that might need to be put on, and versus t tossing the garment, certainly they're going to learn those skills to be able to do that. Um, the classes are on Saturdays. Um, we're at our second Saturday of a series up until um, I think it's October. Uh, then we'll start mid-October on um, level two where they start now taking these skills, building on them to now begin using actually a sewing machine. Oh, wow. But they will have, they'll have the knowledge to use the basic stitches um, for creating a scarf at that time and creating a, a hat, a cap for themselves as well. I got started in sewing actually from my grandmother, you know, that's been many years ago. Um, and I have done things like costumes and I've done things like um, prom dresses, um, you know, which one required silk and had to do it completely by hand. Um, so hand stitching really is a lost art right now, uh, primarily seen in quilting or in embroidery. But uh, I do think, you know, once we get young people more interested in hand stitching, we'll see more designers in the future come, hopefully we'll have some future designers, you know, maybe this is their beginning as well.